The problem with doing commissions right now is that, uh, nobody's giving me money for it. I've been doing it, like, th I I've tried to do it, like, two, three times now. And, uh, nobody's really interested in hiring me, so... I gotta find other methods in regards to that. Like, I can't... This is the thing you don't, uh, necessarily get taught about until you experience it. Being an artist is a bit of a gamble. Like, being an artist full-time is a bit of a gamble. It's, a uh, it's a two-way street. Like, you can make art that's really good and everything, but at the same time, you can also be an artist that... I like to make, believe that I make good art, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm not necessarily that popular. I'm not really necessarily receiving messages about people calling in saying, hey, uh, can I commission you for a work or anything? At the same time, like, I'm not trying, I don't want to force people to pay for commissions. Raising awareness is the main problem. Yep. The animator joke kept put it pretty best on Twitter. It's like, people can make, there are people on the internet that can make all these, like, put time and effort into these works and whatnot, but they completely go unnoticed by the populace. Like, if you want to know how to make it big as an artist, it's, th like, there is no real one particular answer. Because it's, al it's always going to be a mixture of a lot of things. But it's but there's a, there's a one particular moment that you have to wait for, that's like a trigger. Above all else, what some people may not really seem to understand is that being an artist full time, among all things, is still a form of entertainment. You can make as much as you can make as many good artworks as you want, but if nobody's gonna take to it, you're not gonna be able to make a living off of it. I don't necessarily know about this, but ultimately it might be better for me in the long run. If I get my face out there, more a sense of uh, going to conventions and setting up a table and having having people like come by and see my art and be like hey that's cool can i can i get some i think that would probably be the best because like i have heard a number of stories from different people who also want to go into like different forms of entertainment like um I, I was listening to this podcast uh from david so the comedian uh and he was talking to a man named china mac who was who is uh, a rap artist and he was considering actually quitting because his work wasn't like he was promoting his work on like Spotify and SoundCloud. It wasn't really doing that well because it wasn't getting the numbers he desired. And he actually considered quitting over it because it was just like it, it wasn't enough to make a uh, living off of. You know, I bust my ass, I make music, I spend countless hours, mm -hmm. days, months, weeks in, in the studio. If it doesn't stream millions of times you know we don't get any money like that you know a thousand streams equals to four dollars you know? yeah this is like party song like this you could play this anywhere this is gonna go it drops it does nothing yeah. you know like the video does nothing nobody puts it up like no no support nowhere you know i was um like disappointed disappointed yeah i was disappointed and i was just like you know what the fuck like i'm i'm, I'm doing everything around it just to get money for music to and i keep on doing it and doing it and doing it and it's not making me no money i'm still in the red and i have to do other things just to make just to pay the money back so i was just one day i came from the studio and you know the video released and it didn't even do like 10k in a day and i'm just like you know fuck it you know what i'm saying and i went on my live and i was just like yo i quit i was just like you know what fuck it because i don't feel like I'm being appreciated, you know what I'm saying? When I put so much into it. And then um I was really about to quit. I was I really like, I didn't just say it. Like, I really wanted to quit because it's like, you know, when you don't get appreciated for something that you do, you know, it's just, you know, it's 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 disheartening. So I was just like, you know what, fuck it. And one of my brothers was like, yo, you know, um, shooter, shout out to shooter nine three. He's like, yo, bro, you know, you shouldn't quit music. Maybe you should think about um, just directing your 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 audience, like you know, concentrating on your core audience. I'm like, where? And he's like, yo, I don't, I never, I don't have no music on Spotify, iTunes, or nothing. I spell, I sell my music directly to my fans, and I made six figures last year off of just music. That's crazy. So I'm just like, what? And he's like, yeah, bro, you know, try it out. So I tried it out. And I'm in, in, in one week, I made more money than I made in a whole year. Isn't that crazy? On music. I made more mu more money in one week 
than I made in a whole year of streaming music. That's fucking wild, dude. And you know, when people say it's like, oh, well, why, why are you, why would you want to make money? Why would you only can th think about making money off of entertainment and whatnot? You should be doing it for, you, you should be just doing it for the happiness because you want to. It's like, okay, yes, that is true. But ultimately, everybody who is going to this is a, is a job that they need to have a work-life balance as well saying that people are like you know saying that people are doing what they love and like but are sellouts because they're getting money for doing what they love i gotta say it's a very much like a uh teenage childish mindset where they don't take into account that these people well they gotta they gotta eat they got they gotta pay bills they got people to feed. They got themselves to feed. You might be getting paid by YouTube, not even that much, but the sponsors help a whole fucking lot. And when a nigga gets a sponsor, they ain't a fucking sellout. They got bills to pay. They got people to feed. They got themselves to feed. But niggas out here acting like, oh my God, fucking look at you going corporate. No, nigga, I'm trying to eat. When it comes to, I don't know, like platforms like, say, SoundCloud or uh, particularly Spotify, what's important on that pla on those platforms is not necessarily how many people are know are aware of you, but more a sense how many clicks, how many, how much attention does your song get? And if it doesn't get enough, it generally doesn't give you the, uh, the satisfaction you're looking for. And as such, it can be, it, it can seem like no one gives a shit about your work and everything when the platforms themselves don't make it clear. Platforms such as YouTube, right? Platforms such as YouTube, like, you know, they, they, they make a whole thing about, like, how anyone, everyone can be a content creator on this platform, but they neglect to talk about how, you know, this platform is geared towards, uh, is geared towards a number of things and if you don't fall under their particular like guidelines or conditions you can pretty much consider yourself irrelevant like youtube is honestly a bias youtube is honestly a biased system that doesn't necessarily benefit a lot of really good a lot of brand new creators out of the gate and if it is it might just be like uh something specific so this is any kind of content creation any kind of the, the whole making content being an entertainer hollywood however you want to terminology you know whatever you want to use right it's a marathon that feels and operates like a race but it is still technically a marathon it's never ending either like no like and that's you why it's up, a you gotta that's get why it's done. a marathon there's always that eternal yeah. carrot there's always a higher number to achieve there's always a way to make the numbers go up there's always more interaction there's always more and more and more and that's deceptive numbers will go down and they won't be going up as quick. Technically, if they aren't going up as quick, they're still going up. Like, that's the trap of how these websites are designed. Say we pull 1,500 people watch. And then the next stream, not as many. It'll have an arrow pointing down. Because I didn't hit that's, as many as the last time. I'm like, that's deceptive. Like, exactly. outside looking in, they'll be like, oh, you're crushing it. You're annihilating it. But the creator yeah. in the back of their head, they're like, what am I doing wrong? It's and just, having like a the, mental and, breakdown. And yeah. that is the part of the marathon. The algorithm is so picky. Yes, it is geared towards having you have this mentality. Like, it, it, it is geared towards greed. You can look at my video. Like, you can go back and look at one of my videos, like the first time I streamed Sky Children in Light. That, last time I checked, had over 5,000 views. That's insane. But that's that's kind of the trap of YouTube, is that you look at that and you say, hey, that first video did really well. And then you look at, like, every other stream I did before that, hey, this other streams aren't doing so well. And it makes, and it, it, it gives anybody who's making content on this platform, like, just wonder, like, what, what am I doing wrong? What made this video so good that it did good? But what they don't seem to understand is that regardless of how many views your channel gets, like, that's still getting attention. Like, people are still finding you. People are still paying attention to your content. People are still discovering you. The, the platform does not in any way try to adhere towards making it, making that evident. Instead much of the platform is more accustomed to wanting you to get more views and more views. If you replace views with money, it essentially becomes profit and growth. The video is almost 6k now. I know! Like, it, it it's insane how well that video did. Like, that did so much better than the project I did on Full Metal Alchemist 2003. But that's my point, is that that one video did really well. 
But then you look at uh, my other streams ever since then. Even my my last Sky Children in the Light stream after I did that one, it, it has significantly less views. To me, it doesn't really matter matter that much. It's something I noticed, but it's not really that much because I'm not I'm not like sponsored or not verified by YouTube. So, I'm not getting paid off of that. I don't have sponsorships or anything. But, consider this, is that when you come across another YouTube streamer, right? They play this one game that ultimately does really well. And then, the next time they play it, it does significantly, quote-unquote, significantly worse. And so then, that's a hindrance to their career. Because less eyes means less money, and less money for them means they aren't able to pay their bills and whatnot this week. Platforms such as YouTube, or even other platforms such as like Instagram or DeviantArt, like they're useful. They're useful, and even Twitter. It's useful. They're also geared towards the numbers. They're geared towards greed. As such, I don't necessarily consider them a reliable source of uh, information towards like making me heard or making me pop or making me like get to the point I want with my career. I can already guarantee this stream will not break a thousand views and if it does it's going to be like maybe months down the line. It'd be nice if it did but realistically like <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I do have to consider like more or less going forward what how I want to make it as an artist and ultimately I think in terms of making an artist my best option is to more or less take this to the streets. I think I have to actually like start actually taking it seriously more in the sense of taking my art and actually making real prints of them and going to conventions and whatnot and selling them. 